it's uh, after eight in the morning. Uh, just sitting on the dunny seat, not actually having a shit. But there's the, the view of the valley. All those who got up early this morning, they missed out of the view of the valley. See, I was, I was just sitting on the seat, not actually. Anyway. Okay. Okay, it's quarter to nine. It's come up from the hut. And uh, that's Doc's estimated times. Uh, white to Wai Wai. Some have reported seven hours to there. But uh, yeah, always give yourself a bit more time than you need. The valley's been opening and closing all morning. Uh, Twelve people in a six person uh, hut last night. It's quite entertaining. Um, yeah, out of the 12, only two of us had uh, hut passes. And a lot of people complaining about the size of the hut. But they don't want to pay for the hut. I'm taking a video of the Frenchman, the French ghost. He's taking a picture. What are we taking a picture of? The big valley. Ah, it's beautiful. Uh, it's Mount Nichols. We turned off to go down to the hut. It's going to be lots of these shorter views because don't know what we're going to get. And the whiteness out that side. So from the hut, it's about a 200 meter climb up to Mount Crawford. And then off to the junction, where if you turn right, you'll get to a Waita Wai Wai hut. If you go left, or straight ahead, you get to Anderson's hut. And then the big adventurous track uh, over the actual Tauru Peaks. It's still the same view. And uh, Mount Crawford there, a little bit of cloud on top. <clears throat> I love how the cloud, although it blocks the view, um, it also blocks any glimpses of any farmland or towns or anything man-made. together Still going up, and that's the summit up there. And she drops uh, kind of straight down that way, not straight, but the islands in the clouds.
looking back where I just came from. Ah, who's that speck? Okay, I got the rain coming in a bit, so I just put the jacket on. Might be another hour to the uh, summit, I'm not sure. Don't really care because I'm having like a great time. This could be the last uh, panorama. Getting closer to the top. Even with the clouds, this is just so cool. Hope you can see the shapes out there. All right, summit's getting closer. Like literally just 10 steps away from that pole however far oh, photo of this yeah, lovely I've been doing too much of this and I forgot to be doing this Um, there's a finger for, um, whatever you want to call it. Okay, uh, uh, that's the time to get there, that's downhill, mountain range north. Okay, we're going this way, two hours they say. Um, yeah, it's probably more like four. Okay, it's 12 o'clock, I think I'm at the shoulder knob. There's uh, something with a solar panel and uh, whatever's inside there, radios maybe. Going down this ridge, getting ready to enter the bush. Still going down. I read in some notes that uh, once you hear the river, you're almost there. Uh, it's a reflective H's for uh, nighttime use. I've been yawning a bit to, um, uh, what the fuck it's called? Equalize my ears or whatever from the uh, elevation loss. It's sunny, weather's good. Uh, 
I guess this is a moment to mark the uh, swing bridge. That's if you're going the other way, make sure you go that way. Oh, jeez. Here we go. It's quite steep. This is like a 45 and slippery. Christ. Okay. One person maximum load. I might just uh, stop here and river's a bit brown. And uh, there's the beach. All the rocks and the... It's uh, two rivers. Or at least it just splits off and... Yeah. And the other way... Whoop. Bit far for... Yeah. Anyway. The way to Waiwai Hut. It's another short day.